When God made everything. When God made everything, a story from God's Word, the Bible, is found in Genesis 1 and 2. The entrance of your words gives light, Psalm 119, 130. Who made us? The Bible, God's Word, tells us how. The human race began. Long ago, God made the very first man and named him Adam. God made Adam out of the dust of the earth. When God breathed life into Adam, he came alive. He found himself in a beautiful garden called Eden. Before God made Adam, he made a beautiful world filled with wonderful things. Step by step, God made hilly places and prairie spaces, fragrant flowers and tall trees, brightly feathered birds and buzzing bees, wallowing whales and slippery snails. In the very beginning, before God made everything, anything, there was nothing except God, no people or places or things, nothing, no light and no darkness, no up and no down, no yesterday and no tomorrow. There was only God who had no beginning when God acted. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. Then God spoke, Let there be light. And there was light. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And the evening and the morning were the first day. On the second day, God brought the waters of the oceans, seas, and lakes into order under heaven. On the third day, God said, Let the dry land appear, and it happened. God also commanded the grass and flowers and shrubs and trees to appear. And they appeared, and the evening and the morning were the third day. Then God made the sun and the moon and so many stars that nobody can count them. And the evening and the morning were the fourth day. Sea creatures and fish and birds were next on God's list. On the fifth day, he made big swordfish and tiny sardines, long-legged ostriches and happy and happy little hummingbirds. God made every kind of fish to fill earth's waters and every kind of bird to enjoy the land and sea and sky and the evening and the morning were the fifth day. After that God spoke again. He said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures. Every kind of animal and insect and reptile came into being. There were earth-shaking elephants and busy beavers, mischief monkeys and clumsy crocodiles, wiggly worms and cheeky chipmunks, gangly giraffes and purring pussycats. Every kind of animal was made by God that day. And the evening and the morning were the sixth day. God did something else on the sixth day, something very special. Everything was now ready for man. There was food in the fields and animals to serve him. And God said, Let us make man in our image. Let him be Lord over everything on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. God spoke to Adam, Eat what you wish from the garden, but do not eat from the tree of 
the knowledge and of good and evil. If you eat from that tree, you sure will surely die. And the Lord and the Lord God said, "It is not good that man should be alone. I will make a helper for him." God will. God brought that. God brought all the birds and beasts to Adam. Adam named them all. He must have been very clever to do so. But among all the birds and beasts, there was no suitable partner for Adam. God brought Adam into a deep, deep sleep, removing one of the sleeping man's ribs. God formed woman from Adam's rib. The woman God made was exactly right to be a partner for Adam. God made everything in six days. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it a day of rest. In the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve, his wife, had perfect happiness obeying God. God was their Lord, their provider, and their friend. The Bible story tells us about our wonderful God, who made us and who wants us to know Him. God knows we have done bad things, which He calls sin. The punishment for sin is death. But God loves us so much, He sent His Son Jesus to die on the cross and be punished for our sins. Then Jesus came back to life and went home to heaven. If you believe in Jesus and ask Him to forgive your sins, He will do it. He will come and live in you now, and you will live with Him forever. If you want to turn from your sins, say this to God. Dear God, I believe that Jesus died for me and now lives again. Please come into my life and forgive my sins so that I can have new life now and one day go to be with you forever. Help me to live for you as your child. Amen. Read the Bible and talk with God every day. John 3.16